Hello and welcome to the third part of this tutorial uh, where we're going to create the roof and we have an image what we want is uh, I created this white transition between the yellow bricks and the, the black roof tiles and making a transition makes it look way uh, better and uh, of course this should be there to have uh, isolation or something like that anyway um if we go to this we start by creating a cube and we go to this side and we make it a bit smaller a bit more and what i want is making a mirror of this and y clipping and then we have this um what we do is, yeah, we, we can make this a bit smaller because we want not a really thick white uh, roof. And it should something like this there. Yeah. Well, we can see it's not really in the middle, so we have to change it a little bit. There we go. Um, and also, this exact lettuce is going straight down. We should put it there and then I'm gonna fix that by doing this all right and then we hopefully it's over I'm scaling this but as oh I see the display is gone and it's back and um, we're stretching this a bit a bit more so you can see the image it's popping out a little bit so something like this should be fine um yeah all right and next thing is is adding a uh, roof tile and we're using the array modifier to duplicate that so we go to the cube and bezier curve so with this curve i make one roof tile and uh, that needs to be a very good one uh, i'm rotating it a little bit so we have this um and it's not a really hard shape it looks something like uh, this um, we do not really need more well we should duplicate it uh, yeah you need a reference image for it to have a better view so if we make that smaller whoops maybe you think what are you doing <laughs> well it's gonna be all right no problem off all right okay roof tile um what i'm gonna do is making that a full and then creating some depth in it and extruding this a little bit so you think, yeah, that looks like a roof tile. I can make it a little bit longer, something like this. I'm not going to uh, beta at a better resolution because it's already uh, pretty. Uh, if we copy this around uh, 300 times, that looks pretty uh, large. <laughs> so what I need to do is go to Object, Convert to Mesh. So I like to have something like this I don't know why but so it we can put it on it and we have to close this and I'm making this a little bit like so and we are filling that um, and in fact we have a nice looking roof tile uh, but we are still not there yet uh, we're gonna look if there are doubles and there are 104 and sometimes curvy uh, reduce normal so we have to look for that and this needs to be a little bit inside so this is a little bit tricky uh, but we started with adding a color and I wanted a bit courage and later I will put uh, more on the material also for the bricks and uh, the window and the uh, roof
roof tiles, but for now we're just putting it on. So it looks good. Uh, rotating that, make that smaller. And now I have around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'm going to put it right there. And just adding a array and make that a little bit something like this. And then go wild. These are very huge. It's gonna make them smaller. Like this or one around 45, 46, 45 nice and then we go to the side and adding a new array this is the tricky part so now it's doing it again and we don't want that uh, so making that zero and I thought it was this one reading one yes and the trick is is selecting this one and rotating that a bit and making that a little bit I'm gonna rotate a bit more so and so it's overlapping a little bit and now we have to put that thing up in the house and making that something like that I know this is a large large thing but uh, yeah we have the root and we can copy paste that on the other side um, what we're gonna do is uh, um, we can do that right now by applying it but first I want to yeah, duplicate it I want thinking by doing it shift D or alt D and when you press alt D you get some effects later on oh, 100 all right you don't change that value use this one Something like this and you can go to this side to to have a yeah this looks okay uh, we need to do one more thing and that is uh, a top tile uh, so this is, looks good almost need something on top and that is just uh, adding a new mesh uh, curve bezier curve and rotate it again 90 and what I want I don't have reference so I think that this looks it should look the same Hmm, it's not the best way, but it is a way. And in case we don't have the, all right, I don't want. I want a bit more round. All right, well, I think it's good. Um, this one, and we extruding this. Not that large. Oh well, maybe a bit. Uh creating some depth in it and making it full so we have a nice looking roof tile bit more depth maybe we should do this a little bit like this all right um, and now we go to the, the Z or the Y I think it's the Y no zero that one so I turn it um, and I'm going to the object mm, object mode convert to mesh from curve and remove the doubles um, adding I'm closing these gaps uh, there are still a lot of doubles I think no so that's I'm selecting these fill it with fire <laughs> fill it again and to make some variation 
I'm doing this. Don't know why I haven't seen this, but I think it works. Oh, you can use shift or no. Never mind. There is a shortcut doing this. But the reason why I'm forgetting it is I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, roof tile for the top. And I'm placing that right there. Make that smaller. A bit bigger. So, and it's going over it. And putting it right there. And giving that the same value as that one roof tile. Because later on, we're going to do some uh, changes on it. Roof. Uh, nope. <laughs> Roof tile. There you go. And no, don't. We want exactly the same settings later. Um, array. Um, yeah, where are you? I think this should be zero. Maybe this one, one. Nope. It's always the fun to find out where it will. Oh, it needs to be two. There it is. Wow. So again. Uh, selecting everything and like this and making that a smaller value mm, yeah or maybe the other side yeah, I think that looks cool well, we can just fit it a bit like this uh, oh yeah, go on and it should be smaller, I think. Yep. And of course, we should fix that one. Well, it's still pretty good. Still pretty good. And we want this. All right. Uh, save the work. And if we watch this, and uh, of course, we need to do a lot of more stuff. Uh, if we hit render, I hope things won't crash. Uh, we have roof tiles. Again, later we will apply some reflection and some bumpy stuff. It's really little, a little bit, but that will looks a bit better. So we have some little reflections on it. So if we go to this view, you can see it's pretty the same. So in the next tutorial, we're going to add uh, some random uh, ornaments. So this roof thing um, with this, uh, yeah, concrete stuff, all the little parts, and later on this uh, roof uh, window. So uh, see you in the next tutorial, and uh, we're gonna have more fun.